Hello everyone, welcome to Botany Insider. So with this particular video, we are starting off with a new series of lectures on our channel that is regarding the UPSC Botany Optional. So as you all know that Botany Optional is one of the main subject that most of the students prefer if they are from master's background and then they are opting for or they are in the preparation league of the UPSC examination. So they prefer to take up botany as an optional subject. So in this particular lecture and following the same in the further days, we'll be having a lot of discussion regarding the botany optional examination, the botany optional for the perspective of UPSC CSC 2023. So in this particular lecture, I'll be giving you all the required information regarding what is this complete subject all about, what is the examination pattern, etc, etc. I have analyzed there is a very little information regarding this particular subject on our free application. So let's take this initiative, let's start off with this league of lectures and help out all the students out there who are pursuing botany optional for and they are targeting the UPSC CSE 2023. Before starting the video, if you are new to the channel, if you are new to our platform, make sure to download our application from the Android as well as from the iOS. And in addition, we have a number of courses running for the CSIR targeting students. So if you are targeting CSIR as well, all these contents would help you out in one way or the other. Let's start off with the complete guide of botany optional as your UPSC CSE 2023 examination. So let's talk about that what is it all about. Very first thing when we start to prepare for the UPSC examination in this particular examination one optional subject need to be chosen and botany is one such subject about which a very little information is available but many students are in need of having a proper guidance. So from this lecture onwards we will try to give you as much content as possible. Talking about the botany optional as in other optional subjects as well we have two examinations, two botany optional papers named as paper 1 and paper 2. Right? Then talking about what is the main weightage. So both of these examinations, both of these papers carry 250 marks each. So it makes up the botany optional subject makes up 500 marks in total. So it's a very good subject to start off with. It's a very important subject to start off with, especially if you have pursued BSc, if you have pursued MSc in Botany, in Life Sciences, in any other subject, whatever is related to Botany. So this particular subject could be an extra edge for your examination. Now let's talk about the syllabus of both the papers. So in paper one, we have five main units. First one is microbiology and plant pathology. Then we have cryptogams. Then we have phenerogams. Then plant utility and exploitation. After that, we have morphogenesis. It is sub part of this particular unit itself. Now, all of these units are very vast in nature. I have just written down the main topics or the main unit names. We'll be having a complete lecture series for the explanation of the subject as well in the next lecture. So every particular topic is very vast and you need to be smart enough in order to prepare for this complete paper one. Then we have UPSC Botany Optional Paper 2. In Paper 2, we have Cell Biology, we have Genetics, Molecular Biology and Evolution. Then you have Plant Breeding, 
biotechnology and biostatistics then we have phycology and biochemistry and then you have ecology and plant geography so again these all topics are in itself a complete subject they are in itself very vast but over here we have marked down only the important pointers and these like the second subject is also for 250 marks in total so with paper 1 and paper 2 you have 500 marks to score from right i hope this complete brief introduction of the syllabus is clear to you now let's talk about the paper pattern which many of the students confuse with if they are starting to prepare for this examination see in total there are eight questions asked in the examination and every question has various parts to it they have various options to it which have to be solved for example if it is question number 1 in question 1 let's say there are five sub sections so you need to solve out all five of them you cannot make a permutation and combination between the options you have to solve out the complete question in total so out of eight questions you have to do only five of them so you have an very like very huge variety available to you then five questions every question is of 50 marks so the paper is of in total 250 marks right look into the table section you'll understand better so we have section a and section b in section a you have four questions question number 1 2 3 and 4 all of them are of 50 marks each with a variety in the options that means let's say in first question there were five of the sub sections and they were of 10 10 marks so you have to solve this complete question so section a first question is of 50 marks which is compulsory so out of the five questions two of the questions are compulsory that means you have to and have to solve them except for these two out of the options like out of the other questions in the section from that you can select from that you can make your own choices but keep in mind from both the sections you have to do at least one that means for example you have done this question and this question right you are left with only three questions which need to be solved now you have to make sure that at least one question is done from here and then two from here or vice versa one from here and two from here that means you have to make sure that from both the sections at least one additional question is solved in like extra from the compulsory one these two questions are compulsory first question and fifth are compulsory but except for these two you have to make sure even if you are making choices you have to have to have at least one section like you have to solve one question from each of the sections okay so this is the complete paper pattern many of the students make this mistake in the examination so make sure that you are very much clear about the paper pattern you are very much clear about what you have to do how you have to opt for the complete paper okay so you have question section a section b in section a four question in section b four questions initial questions are compulsory and then you have to choose three questions extra but keeping in mind solving out at least one from each of the sections i hope the complete paper pattern is clear to you even after this if you have any doubt you can let me know in the comment sections i'll help you out then point is why should you choose botany as an optional why should this particular subject be chosen as an optional subject very first thing that if you look into the previous year questions if you look into the papers prepared in the previous years the questions are very straightforward like 
if they have asked you about a specific fungi then you have to straightforward mark the answer there is no webbing of the answer around there is no uh, like con uh, you need not to think about it that what should be the answer if you know the answer you can easily write it down so only thing required is conceptual clarity if your concepts are cleared if your facts are cleared you can easily mark the answers because the answers are very straightforward then it is on the easier side because the students who have done bsc in botany if they are going for the botany optional you will see major section of your have been already covered by other subjects that we study in our graduation or even in our masters as well so it is on the easier side for the students you need not to go for anything new all you have to make sure is that you make your notes in such a manner that within the 3 hours of your examination you are able to portray you are able to give out everything possible in those 3 hours so for that you need to make sure that your notes are very nicely prepared i'll make a video for how to prepare notes for the botany optional as well wait for all those videos but this is the very first video so that you can get a complete intro about it right then when we look into the syllabus of the same so the syllabus of this examination is on the concised side like it's very much clear in the syllabus itself that what are the things that you have to focus upon what are the important things in the complete examination so if you look into the botany optional as a subject for your upsc mains attempt then you are on a positive end you can actually go for this particular subject with less time preparation and also having a very good score out of it okay so this particular video was about a introduction segment i hope this particular video help you out if yes do let me know and also let me know in the comment sections what are the various things you would want from our end let's make this particular platform open for you all so that you can get all of your doubts cleared so that you can get everything possible from our end and we can help you out in best manner possible so this was about for this video thank you so much everyone for watching this video if you are new to the channel do not forget to like share and subscribe also download the application from the ios from the play store if the students like our content in this particular field we'll try to start off with a complete structured course as well on our application so Uh, share this video as much as possible to the students who are targeting botany as an optional subject let everyone get the benefit out of it and let's start off with this new lecture series successful on botany insider thank you for watching this video good luck everyone and take care